Hello, this is the trade site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, 22nd of May 2018. Now that we've got the first day of the new options standalone cycle, the June cycle, behind us, hopefully things will pick up. It wasn't a very exciting day. We had a gap up on news that China and the U.S. were not going to enter in a trade war, at least for now. And then the market tried to push a little higher sold off a bit and that was about it we'll take a look at the intraday action in a minute let's start with here's the es frontline futures contract this is the daily chart the broad market and futures forum still pretty flat over the last six or seven days obviously crude oil at 72.57 that's up 22 cents that is a new closing high for the year on crude gold down a dollar and 20 cents not a big deal s p cash index gains 20 like i said that was a gap closed right around where it opened nasdaq 100 uh, actually closed lower than it opened, but up 39 points on 0.28 on the session. Stocks up 14.14. Biotech's down 44.85. A big negative outside engulfing pattern on the uh, biotech. As a matter of fact, today's action alone engulfed all of last week, basically, uh, with a negative bias. Uh, the VIX down 34 cents to 13.08. The trend closes at 0.96. 10 day moving average. 0.98, so no sell signal there. NASDAQ volume, 1.9 billion shares, um, which is about where it's been the last couple of days. Not great. And advanced client ratio on the NASDAQ, plus 621. More stocks up than down, obviously. On the New York, it was plus 1201. Google gains $14.37. This is a reverse floating island uh, pattern there on Google. It's interesting. So Friday was a gap down and sit, and then Monday gap back up. Um, we'll see if that means anything. Apple up a buck 32, near all-time highs, of course. Netflix up 764. There's a pattern performing here for a breakout. We were watching this for a move today, but it didn't get to our trigger. Uh, Amazon up $11.09. It doesn't look like anything anymore on Amazon. Tesla up 767. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF up six cents, but off the lows. Goldman Sachs up 70 cents for the session. All right, let's take a look at the intraday action. So here's five-minute candles again, the big gap up. A little bit of a push higher after about 10 minutes, then came back then tried one more time. That was the high of the day. Rolled over right before lunch, swept the lows. But pretty much that opening, if you if you really look at it, the opening 10 minutes was from 27.28 as a low to 27.36 as a high. And that's where you spent everything from the start of lunch till the end of the day in that narrow eight-point range. NASDAQ side a little more negative when it sold off ahead of lunch, almost filled the gap. So... You know, overall, there's more selling than buying intraday. Uh, in terms of economic data on Tuesday, not much. Just the Richmond Manufacturing Index 30 minutes in. We've got a lot of data still to come this week. Um, but you want to get the action done here Tuesday, Wednesday, because by Thursday, people are going to start to head out for the long weekend. Monday is the Memorial Day holiday. So Friday is going to be very light and probably a joke. So Thursday, people start to head out. So we really want to see some action Tuesday and Wednesday to so make some money. Uh, in the market. Those will be our best opportunities. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Tuesday.